Hello and welcome back to the Model Farm series. It has finally returned and today what we're going to be doing is putting up a fence. It's going to be a livestock fence for the field you see in front of us. We even still have some tractors on the farm. The Ford TW30 has been here waiting ever since the previous episode, which I think was almost a year ago. It has been a long time. So today we're going to be putting up this authentic stock fencing by a company called Brushwood Toys and it looks to be pretty good quality. So yeah, I think it's going to really fit in well. So in front of us we have the instructions to tell us how to actually put it together, some PVA glue and the fencing set itself. Within the set we have the master post here, well the master post set, which is four, and the others are three. They are the extensions. We also have the sort of chain link fence as well. Uh, well, I don't think it actually it's called chain link, it's just a wire fence. And also, we have the barbed wire, which is just here. Very nice, it does actually look like barbed wire, but obviously not sharp. And here is the rest of the wire. So, what we're going to do first of all, is put the first main post set onto the field. And then we'll obviously try and arrange where we need to put them all. But I'm thinking we're going to divide this field into two. So if we put this one here to begin with, I'm just going to lay out the others roughly where I want them to be. This was my initial idea, but actually I don't think I want to do this. Uh, not only because it's a very small field, but also it might be a little bit more difficult to actually put the barbed wire fencing up. Although I believe you can go around corners. So what I'm going to do is just blow away any excess grass, which is essentially coloured sawdust so that we can stick it down properly. So just a good coating of PVA glue. One habit of mine is to put way too much on and it's going to require two hours to set. So ideally two hours before we start to put the barbed wire or the fencing on. Uh, otherwise when we do that it's just going to lift it up again. So to aid in the sticking process I'm going to put some fairly heavy sockets onto here and it should keep it down while it's trying to set. But coming back to that corner, let's just get rid of it. I really do not want it. Despite PVA glue actually setting clear, I'm still going to blow some of the green sawdust, which is the grass, onto that white glue, just so it does uh, disguise it as much as possible. All done, and now it's just setting. So you can see I've put a number of different old sockets on here. These are impact sockets off an impact wrench, but they're quite heavy so they should work quite well. While I'm waiting for that to set, what I'm going to do is use some of these grass tufts which I've used before on the outside of the fencing just to try and blend it because currently it's sitting a bit higher than the current field. So if we do this, it should really disguise the edge of it because it is quite a sharp edge. So I'm going to put a load of these tufts down and hopefully it looks authentic. So there we go, let's get the sockets removed and you can see what it looks like so far. Obviously it's just the post but you can hopefully appreciate uh, the blending which I've done with those grass tufts. Right, onto the barbed wire. And this actually is wire. I'm going to put it around one of the middle posts just to keep it tensioned, uh, just keep it taut but uh, yeah, it's actually pretty good anyway. So there you go, that is the barbed wire over the top love the texturing on the posts, they look really good. Onto the wire fence itself, this does have a slightly tacky backing and that is to help us, uh, help us actually put it up, but it does need to be PVA glued in place so what I'm going to do is actually get some pegs as it recommends in the instructions and PVA glue them in place. Now unfortunately I don't have any today so I'm just going to put a few tacks of PVA on a few of the posts and I'll do it properly after this video. Um, I really should have read the instructions first. But anyway, there we go. That is roughly what it looks like. Put a bit of PVA glue on. I don't want to do too much because I don't have a brush either and I would like to um, try and brush it on there fairly evenly so it doesn't just run down and create a big mess. But as I've said, 
PVA glue does set clear, so it's not a big problem. So there we have it, the authentic livestock fencing. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you want to support the series, please do feel free to give the video a like. I can't really say when the next video is going to be, but I'm hoping it's going to be a bit more often than once a year. That is uh, quite extreme. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.